guys, so today I decided I would do a simpler kind of um, get ready video. Yesterday I did a day to night look um, on a green smoky eye, but today it's just going to be a simple get ready video. Um, so yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. So the primer that I'm going to use to prime my eyes is the um, Thank Me Later from Elizabeth Moore. Love this primer. A little bit goes such a long way, so I'm just going to prime my eyes and then I'm going to take the extra and run it under my lower lash line. Okay, next um, we're going to kind of do a um, base color and we're also going to fill in our brows. So for the base color, uh, my favorite shadow to use is a matte shadow from um, Wet n Wild. This is in Brulee. So I'm just going to take this on my MAC 239 brush and we're going to take a little bit of this shadow and we're going to apply this to our brow bone and our lid. Next we're going to jump into the CoverGirl Coffee Shop Quad and we're going to take a little bit of this white right on the tip, right on the edge of your brow. So I'm going to just take my e.l.f. under eye highlight and concealer real quick. And I'm going to dot this under my eyes, just like that, down the bridge of my nose, and Cupid's bow. And then you can either blend this in with a beauty blender or your fingers. Today I'm going to use my beauty blender dupe. This is from Profusion. I freaking love this beauty blender. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take this beauty blender and lightly start to blend that out. Okay, next, I'm going to apply a powder. Um, for powder today, I think I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, Clarifying Press Powder. This is in Spice. The only thing I don't like about this powder is it comes in pretty floppy packaging. You guys can see that. The lid broke off and I have no idea where it went. And I'm going to apply this with my EcoTools domed bronzer brush. Alright, so now that you have the powder on, it looks nice. It looks better. Okay, next we're going to do our brows. And for brows, I'm going to be using a brow powder that I got in my Ipsy bag. This is from Peak. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that brand. This is an espresso. And I'm going to be taking, you can really use any type of brush. I'm just going to use this one for today just because my angle brush has black in it from when I did the smoky eye. And I'm going to just fill in my brows. brows I decided I would just do them pretty simple today so I just uh, filled them in really quickly made them look a little bit more defined now we're going to move into shadow uh, we already did our brow bone highlight and our brow bone and our base color so um, we're just going to move straight into shadow I'm going to first color I'm going to go into is um, this color right here this is in naked take my MAC 224 brush, it's just a blending brush, and I'm going to apply this color as my transition color. I love 
enough to do if I'm just going for a really natural look. So if I'm not doing a whole look, I'll just put that there. And I'll just create the most beautiful depth in the world without looking like I have any eyeshadow on. Um, so, yeah. Next we're going to take this color and... Buck, and we're going to intensify our outer corner. So as I said, this look is going to be pretty simple. Um, so for the final touch on the shadow, we're going to take a little bit of smog and we're just going to... We really kind of make a V shape on the outer corner and it's going to follow the line of our wing. So just take a little bit of smog and intensify the whole look. have our shadow done it's just really simple um, we're going to take a little bit of that exact same color on my Mac 239 and I'm just going to run this under my lower lash line really quickly and we will do something with that a bit later okay next we're going to take the same brush with this gold color and we're going to apply it right where the highlight meets the brown. This is the CoverGirl Cockshot Quad and we're just going to take that and apply it. As a lid color, it really looks like you have something on the lids and I love that look. But since I want it to be a little bit more noticeable, we're going to take the famous um, Sin from the Urban Decay Naked One Palette and I'm going to take that on my MAC 239 brush and just apply this to my lid. completes it for shadow. Next we're going to take an eyeliner of your choice. I'm going to be using the MAC Fluid Line in Retro Black and we're just going to do a winged liner. And I love this eyeliner, so yeah. Okay, so what I do is, um, I mean, it's okay if they're uneven, but what I do is on the bottom, I kind of swoop it down, so it gives kind of a cat effect, but on the top, I like it to be like a whoosh, so it's not like, because I think it looks more like intense and striking. So next, just to make that um, more black, this isn't a light color, it just, it goes on better without eyeshadow, so I'm going to take this LA Colors one. And I'm just going to make that a little bit more visible. Okay, next we're just going to take a black stick from e.l.f. We're going to drag this under our lower lash line and line our waterline in. Next we're going to be adding mascara on Mary Kay Lash Love and I'm going to use my Voluminous Miss Monger Rock together.
so now we pretty much have the eyes done now we're going to finish up the face so for the face I'm going to do um, bronzer and a light blush blush on me can look like weird sometimes so normally I just apply a highlighter as a blush which is perfectly okay um, today for bronzer I would use my max studio scope but max is kind of expensive so I'm going to restrain um, I'm going to use my Ulta Sculpting Palette, which I love, and I'm going to use my MAC 168 brush. For blush, I have um, a lot of choices of blush. You could use the one from this one, or you could take it a little bit lighter. I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Blondes. This is so amazing. I love this stuff. And I would take it on the stippling brush, but I want it to be a little bit more intense. So I'm going to take this Colorworks blush brush. our blush and bronzer done um, we're going to move into the lips now I have a lot of choices for lips uh, today we're going to take it a bit brighter because um, the eyes are kind of more toned down except for the wing liner um, so yeah we're going to take a MAC lipstick in Lady Danger And that is your completed look.